I love the evolution of pods and mm-hmm. shows yeah. and where they go. Co-host Quint Lee fired, hired. Dynamic love chemistry. I mean, this show has also <laughs> had a iterations. change. Iterations. Uh, multiple iterations yeah, in the, in the past least. few years. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I love it. But we yeah. don't acknowledge those. No, I mean. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I mean, they might hate when we bring it up. Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, that's fine. The same way. But I appreciate the it. Same it's a part way, of the story. It is. Yeah, it yeah. is. And I will it acknowledge is. those yeah, when yeah. I want to. For or sure. Not. Yeah. I, I see you. You feel what I'm saying? I see you. <laughs> but with that being said, you're like, can we stop? <laughs> nah, I, I, I always kind of wonder what some of the top podcasters kind of listen to. Can so I? So it's dope to, to hear that. Okay, sorry, sorry. I just what do you listen to? So I wanted to bring it up before we get into the news of today because I I feel like you know in the beginning of this podcast you guys see like the Joe Budden universe. Like I feel like people are really tapped into that universe, but me, I'm tapped into the Caucasian pod universe. Like really, <laughs> you guys have no idea. Like. This Name is my more. time to shine. Yeah. Name them. That's Name the, Andy's people. The base, Name them. No, the basement yard with Joe Sanagato and Frank Alvarez, they sold out Radio oh, City shit. twice. Okay. Oh. Legends can't do that. Oh, like, damn. legends can't do that. There's this, like, uh, Therapist with Jake Shane. I love Josh Peck's podcast. I be, I'm really into the Caucasian pod world. Like, I really do this. And I really am daddy gang. Uh, shout out to Alex Cooper. Uh, call her daddy. She's, I literally watch her with, uh, also with a lens of like a journalist. She's really, really, really good at what she do, does. Right. And I think she deserves everything that she's getting. Nice. Well, it's, funny. it's funny you she, mentioned. She deserves everything it, she's getting. Wait, hey, it, if they it, offered it to her, wouldn't you take it? It is funny <laughs> that you happen to be a part of what they call daddy it. Gang. Daddy, daddy gang. gang. They call it daddy gang. Yes. Uh, Alex, I thought that was our shit. Nah, nah, nigga. Wait, y'all are daddies? Say, man, what the they fuck you talking about? Say, man. <laughs> Literally, no one has Thank ever you. called you a daddy I love that Pierre's no, adding his last of here. <laughs> say, what the fuck did y'all have a daddy what? game? Say, man, you got us sounding crazy. No. Nobody be calling us daddy No one has ever called you guys daddy game. Who the fuck called a daddy game? No offense. No, no, y'all call each other daddy game? Nah, none taken. Nah, no funny. I heard somebody. Hold on now. We don't got some daddy now. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Thank you. Hold on. Me and my twin over here done got some daddy, though. I mean, twin. I mean, uh, Where have you been? With that being <laughs> said, uh, yeah. Alice Cooper, right? Um, the host of the Call Her Daddy podcast. She seemingly has struck a $125 million blockbuster deal with Sirius XM. That Wait. With just that, there's a lot to kind of break is. down. Yes. But a uh, 125 million blockbuster deal with Sirius XM, granting them the exclusive advertising and distribution rights to her extremely popular podcast, Call Her Daddy. Um, and I think, honestly, this is the perfect episode for Mandy to kind of be on. Um, the last time Mandy came on, we talked about how her and I, we love to nerd out about the podcast oh, industry. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she actually put this on my radar because I was working my nine to five um, at a podcast company, HBO, right. Warner Media, right? So, yeah. podcasting is just a thing. And, and Mandy, she sent this to me and she was like, yo, did you see this? Once I saw it, I could not unsee it. <laughs> 125 I mean, I, I, million wait, wait, for, three for three years. For three years? You didn't right? say that first? And also, though, it's not only for her call her daddy for distribution and advertisement. When she was over at Spotify, Mm -hmm. she started a network called the Unwell Network, where she created other shows with TikTokers and other women, different shows under Mm -hmm. her umbrella that now Sirius also has the rights to. Now, the folks outside of this space, Mm -hmm. the reason why this is a big deal is because of the number, right? As of recent, people, podcasters haven't really been receiving that amount, right? (laughs) That's an amount. Hold on. Mad networks <laughs> have literally either dissolved mm-hmm. their podcast divisions right. or have completely no longer exist. Mm-hmm. So if, if I want to put you guys just a little bit up on game with what's been happening. So if we talk about podcasts, we know, right? So Roy and Maul were signed to More Sauce. More Sauce was under, it was an Issa Rae uh, network under Sirius Serious. XM. Yeah. No longer exist. Rory Maul are no longer with them. No longer even with Sirius. Sirius probably dissolved, I believe, 10 to 15% of their podcast division. Then we have Drink Champs. We have Rap Radar. We have uh, Holding Court. All of those were under Warner. Warner was IRL, completely dissolved. Drink Champs has now gone back to Black Effect Network. Shout out to my Black Effect family. Holding Court is now independent. Is that what Ebony K? Rap, 
Rap Radar is now Elliot Wilson's Instagram. Um, and so, shout out to Elliot. Shout you know I love Elliot. you. Right, what up? However, he's now an employee <laughs> at Uproxx. He said, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. so for the, the landscape in which black <laughs> podcasters have existed over mm -hmm. the last three, four years, yeah. we also see what's happened mm -hmm. with Revolt. Revolt is where a lot of also our pods had their video <laughs> distribution deals. Yeah. Did he fuck that up? Thank and then, you. and then, if we also want to get into love, Gillian Wallow, Wallow, love you down. Me and Wallow disagreed on my take on Black Backfield about the money no longer being there for Black podcasters. Gillian Wallow have a deal with Barstool, baby. You're in with the white men. <laughs> You're in with who gave initially call her daddy mm -hmm. the check that they got right. before they went over to Spotify mm -hmm. and. What Gilly and Wallow have been able to do is also monetize their brand outside of needing advertisements and deals through CPM and a network. They even have their own series now. They have their own series. Yeah. What they do on Instagram is phenomenal. They have, uh, Wallow is on panels every fucking other week. Mm -hmm. What they've each been able to do individually supersedes the average way in which podcasts are making money. For sure. Um, For sure. $125 million. Alex Cooper. Call for her three daddy. years, it's Are crazy. Are you surprised? And, and, and the funny thing is, before we even get yeah, into like... Yeah, I want to hear Reggie's take on this, because she's a daddy girl. Be, be, I'm a daddy game. Even daddy before game. we get into like that, right? I want to yeah. list the top 10 podcasts in the world Ooh. from 2023. Okay. okay. By, by Please. What, this, like, what's your soul? This is the bo uh, boardroom. Yeah. Oh, Boardroom okay. came got up with a list. Got you, yep. got you, got you. 2023, the top 10 podcasts, So, right? and these are normally based on... Uh, not only downloads, yeah. but the the amount of viewers or listenership mm -hmm. that you would get in like six weeks. Gotcha. So gotcha. so that's normally the the standard.